Welcome to Doe's Brain, our insightful discussion on a significant relationship issue. Six Ways Women Gaslight Men. Today we're going to delve into the complex world of gaslighting, a manipulative tactic that can turn relationships upside down. It's crucial to understand these dynamics to foster healthier connections. We'll focus on the six ways women may gaslight men, shedding light on these often overlooked tactics. Ready to dive in? Let's unravel these methods of gaslighting. The first method of gaslighting we'll discuss is the denial of reality. Picture this. You're sharing your feelings or recounting an experience, but the person you're speaking to dismisses it outright. They might say you're overreacting, that you're imagining things, or that the event you're describing simply didn't happen. This can be incredibly disorienting and lead to a whirlwind of self-doubt. It's like being lost in a maze where everything you thought you knew is suddenly up for debate. Your experiences, your feelings, your reality all being questioned and denied, leaving you second-guessing yourself. It's a subtle form of manipulation, a way of controlling the narrative by controlling your perception of reality. This denial can take many forms. It might be a dismissive comment like, you're too sensitive, or you're making a big deal out of nothing. Or it could be more blatant, like outright denying an event took place. Regardless of the method, the result is the same. You start doubting your own memories, your own feelings, and ultimately, your own sanity. The impact goes beyond the immediate moment of confusion. It can lead to long-term emotional turmoil as you struggle to reconcile your reality with the one being imposed on you. You may start to question your ability to accurately perceive the world around you, which can undermine your self-confidence and self-esteem. When one's reality is denied repeatedly, it can cause significant emotional turmoil. Next up is the act of trivializing feelings. This is a subtle yet powerful form of manipulation where a person's feelings are belittled or dismissed. Imagine a situation where a man expresses his concerns or worries only to be told that he's overreacting or that his feelings are insignificant. This can be deeply damaging, as it can lead to feelings of self-doubt and worthlessness. Consider this scenario. A man shares his disappointment about not being considered for a promotion at work. Instead of empathizing, the woman in his life may respond with, Oh, you're always so sensitive, or it's not a big deal, just let it go. This kind of response diminishes the man's feelings, making him feel as though his disappointment is not valid or important. When feelings are trivialized, it creates a harmful environment where one person's emotions are considered less valid than the others. It's a way of invalidating another person's experience and can lead to a sense of isolation and loneliness. The person on the receiving end may start to question their own feelings and judgment, leading to a damaging cycle of self-doubt and low self-esteem. But it's important to remember that everyone's feelings are valid and deserve to be heard. If a person is upset, it's not for anyone else to decide whether their feelings are overblown or insignificant. Understanding and empathy are key components of any healthy relationship. Remember, everyone's feelings matter and should be respected. The third method of gaslighting is discrediting and undermining. This technique is a subtle and insidious one, often unnoticed until it has done significant damage. It begins with small jabs at a man's accomplishments or achievements. A woman might downplay his successes, perhaps by attributing them to luck or the help of others rather than acknowledging his hard work or talent. The undermining is a similar story. It may start with seemingly innocuous comments about a man's abilities, choices, or decisions. These comments, however, are designed to plant seeds of doubt in his mind, causing him to question his own competence and judgment. Over time, this can seriously undermine his confidence, leading him to second-guess himself and his abilities. The aim is not just to undermine the man's confidence in his abilities, but to shake his belief in himself, to make him question his worth and value. The ultimate goal is to render him dependent on the woman for validation, creating a power imbalance in the relationship where she holds the reins. This method is particularly damaging because it directly attacks a man's self-esteem and self-worth, two pillars upon which our sense of identity and happiness often rest. When these are shaken, it can lead to feelings of inadequacy, anxiety, and depression. So it is crucial to recognize and challenge such behavior. Stand up for your accomplishments and abilities and don't let anyone undermine your confidence. Remember, your worth is not determined by anyone else's opinion of you. Such actions can lead to a serious blow to one's self-esteem. 
Shifting blame is the fourth gaslighting method we'll discuss. It's a form of manipulation that can be incredibly subtle, yet undeniably destructive. This is when a woman, knowingly or unknowingly, redirects fault onto a man for issues that he's not responsible for. It's a deflection of accountability, one where the person at fault conveniently sidesteps their actions and instead points the finger elsewhere. Imagine a situation where a disagreement arises over something as simple as chores. Instead of acknowledging her part in the misunderstanding, she might say, if you had just communicated better, we wouldn't be having this problem. Here, the blame has been shifted, and the man is made to feel as if he's the sole cause of the issue. Another instance could be when she's upset about something unrelated, but instead of addressing her feelings directly, she blames him for causing her distress. The man, in turn, may start to believe he's the problem, leading him to question his behavior and actions. It's important to note that everyone makes mistakes and it's natural to want to avoid blame. However, consistently shifting blame in a relationship is unhealthy. It's a power play that can lead to the other person feeling guilty for things they haven't done, eroding their self-esteem over time. The blame game can become a cycle that's hard to break, causing significant emotional turmoil. The key to dealing with this form of gaslighting is to recognize when it's happening. If you find yourself constantly on the receiving end of blame for things you know aren't your fault, it's time to take a step back and reassess the situation. Remember, it's not about playing tit for tat, but about fostering an environment of mutual respect and understanding. This blame game can lead to feelings of guilt and frustration. The fifth gaslighting way is keeping in constant uncertainty. Now let's delve into this. Uncertainty can be a powerful tool when used in a manipulative way, it can keep a person off balance, constantly trying to figure out where they stand. This can be done subtly through unpredictable or inconsistent behavior. Imagine a scenario where one moment things are going great and the next, there's a sudden coldness or distance. Maybe there's an unexpected outburst or a sudden mood swing that seems to come out of nowhere. Perhaps there are mixed signals that leave one guessing about what's really going on. This unpredictability can create a state of constant vigilance where one is always on edge, waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's like walking on eggshells, never quite sure what will trigger an emotional landmine. The effect of this can be disorienting. It can lead to self-doubt and second-guessing. It can make one question their own perception of reality. They might start to wonder, am I imagining things? Is it all in my head? This is a classic gaslighting technique. It's a way of keeping the other person in a perpetual state of unease, where they're always questioning, always doubting. It's a way of exerting control and maintaining power in the relationship. Living in constant uncertainty can be emotionally draining and confusing. It's important to recognize these patterns and understand that they are not normal or healthy. Awareness is the first step towards change. Finally, the sixth way women gaslight men is by withholding information. This is a subtle yet powerful method of manipulation that often goes unnoticed. By holding back crucial details or providing false information, a woman can manipulate the narrative to her advantage. This could be as simple as not mentioning a significant event or as complex as creating an entirely fabricated story. This technique can be incredibly damaging as it can lead to a man feeling constantly out of the loop perpetually playing catch-up with the reality as presented to him. This imbalance of knowledge can create a power dynamic where the person withholding information gains control. It's akin to moving around pieces on a chessboard while the other player is blindfolded. Moreover, this method can be used to sow seeds of doubt and insecurity. For instance, a woman might withhold information about her interactions with other people, leading the man to question his understanding of their relationship dynamics. But it's crucial to remember that this is not about assigning blame to one gender. Gaslighting is a harmful practice, regardless of who is doing it. The purpose of identifying these methods is to raise awareness, promote healthier communication, and foster mutual respect in relationships. In the end, it's all about fostering an environment of openness and honesty. When information is withheld, it can lead to a lack of trust and a skewed perception of reality. Recognizing this tactic is the first step towards addressing it and building a healthier relationship dynamic. Now that we've discussed the six ways women gaslight men, let's summarize. We began with the denial of reality, a method that warps a person's perception of events. Following this, we looked at trivializing feelings, where one's emotions are dismissed or belittled. 
The third method was discrediting and undermining, a tactic used to shake one's confidence and self-belief. We then delved into shifting blame, a manipulative technique that places fault on the victim. Keeping in constant uncertainty was our fifth point, a method that keeps the victim off balance and questioning their own judgment. Finally, we talked about withholding information, a strategy that creates an information imbalance to maintain control. Each of these methods is a form of psychological manipulation, and recognizing these patterns is crucial in protecting oneself and promoting healthier interactions. Understanding these gaslighting methods can lead to healthier, more respectful relationships. Thanks for watching, and remember, respect and understanding are the keys to any successful relationship.